Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out with the lovely Julia. Hello, lovely Julia. Hello, lovely Richard. Ooh. And hello, is, lovely viewers. And hello, you? lovely viewers. Mm -hmm. This um, is not our hometown. Where are we today? We're in Brighton. We are. We're at Preston Park in Brighton. We're on mission today because there's a tree that we have not really investigated. Um, I think I've seen some in hedgerows, and, um, but not old venerable ones. What tree is that, Julia? The elm. The elm. Oh, we better move away from these fine jolly people who are who putting, are working, some putting up some fencing. Preston Park is in on sort of North Brighton, and um, it's very big. Actually, I'll just sweep the camera around so you get a bit, there's a bit of sunshine there in your face. Hope that's warming you up. Mm -hmm. It is us on a coldish day. It's a very blue sky. But Preston Park is home to the Preston Twins. These mm -hmm. are two of the oldest elms, elm trees in the country, alleged to be 400 years old, planted circa 1613. I read on a web page this morning, so it's got to be right. Mm. 400 years ago, so when Shakespeare was doing his plays, James I was on the throne, people were bashing on the door saying, let us have to get in there because we want to go. And um, it's been here all that time, and since then this park, this uh, sort of Georgian stroke Victorian park, I can't remember, it was about 1823 I think this park became a park. Yeah. Now. The elms that I want to see, the Preston elms, are somewhere down there. So that away. That away. That's where we're going to go. So, are you going to join us? I hope you do. Come on. Now, Julia, I'm quite keen to see what the leaves look like on an elm because the the one tree that, as we said at the beginning, you don't see many of now, and I'm not that familiar with them, so I'm not no, quite sure I, what I'm, I'm either. ready to look for. I know that the park has a number of elms. In fact, there is another two venerable elms down on the south side that might be worth looking at. But it's the Preston Twins I'm keen to see. But one of them, I understand, um, had a terrible accident. Oh, no. And had to be, I think... I thought you said it had to be put down. I think Didn't it you? had to be chopped down, <laughs> and there was a bit of a hoo-ha. Um, I think they managed to save some of it, so I'm very keen to see if we can find them and see what the state of play is. I went on the Woodland Trust website, which was uh, able to pinpoint it um, exactly where it was. Oh, hello, Julia's found something. That must be some form of oak. I was going to say, it's, it's very oaky and looks... I can't see any acorns. No. This isn't it, but there was a sign here. And I thought, oh, they've actually labelled the trees. That would have been great. But it's in loving memory of somebody. Here's a tree, but this is not what we're looking for. I don't know what it is, but I'm floundering a bit now because I, don't, I can't quite identify it from these leaves. Here, look at these tiny little leaves. It might be an elm, but I'm not sure. No. Uh, but this is what's intrigued uh, me particularly. Look up there. Look at that. It's like there's a root system going on from that branch. That is bizarre. Look underneath it. it it's like it's, um, you know, like a, a primitive home of some ancient man or a human nest that has been put into the tree. It's the most peculiar thing I've ever seen. You know, you see, um, what's that stuff they hang up at Christmas time that you oh, see? Mistletoe. Mistletoe. Yeah. You know, you see mistletoe in trees. Yeah. In lime trees, I think, a lot, a lot of it. Where it looked like, a, a, bit big, like that. a big ball of that, but it looks, from the other side, it also, does look like it's growing, doesn't it? Yeah, it also looks like a very, very big crow's nest. Yes. An actual crow's nest. With no nest. actual entrance. Unless the entrance, obviously, is at the top. Yeah. Mm. Still haven't found our elms yet, though. No. I want to know what this is, because I like the, the very deep fissures yeah. on there. Very yeah. straight. Over there is the backside of Preston Manor, which um, we did go and visit, and we were going to make a video about, but um, 
We didn't actually make a video, did no, we? it didn't happen in the end. The intrepid explorers seem to be... Um... Oh, wait a minute. There's Hang on. Those things you saw oh, yes. Now, somebody said this tree... We did this at uh, Beach House Park. Somebody said this tree, with its long thing, was a runner bean tree. Yeah. Uh, that was obviously the common name. But I think people have been making suggestions of what it was. Never mind that. Here yeah, are that. the elms that we that wanted to see. You all. This is the one of the twins that had the uh, accident. Part of it came down and they've managed to salvage a little bit of it. And then on the right of the screen is the second elm. I've got to go and have a look and try and identify these leaves and look at the bark structure. Isn't that amazing? come around and see this one first of all this is the poor one 400 years old look at that hollowed out they, they clip the um, or prune the canopy so that the structure isn't too heavy up up a top but it seems that this one had um, um, just just came down mm. part of it but they managed to salvage some of it this one is magnificently here. This is the last of the oldest elms in Great Britain. And I think you can get inside. Hollow again. Let's have a look inside. Incredible. Amazing. Fantastic. I found a leaf. Ah. So, yeah, familiarising myself with the shape. Oh, and it's the, quite... And the feel. It's quite yeah, it's papery, kind of, isn't it? Um, no, it's kind of hairy. Oh, hairy, yeah. yeah it's like um, slightly furrier on the back, more of just rigid hair on the front. But yeah, you wouldn't think that to look at it. There's a sign here with some information about the trees, the Preston Twins. Um, it says here, the English elm is a long-lived tree, but was a major species in the miles of field hedgerows, sadly decimated, decimated by uh, elm disease in the southern England, following the introduction of a virulent form of fungus in the 1970s. So it's not been that long since a lot of the elm trees have just fallen and disappeared. Um, it does say that these hollow trees are estimated to be 400 years old, uh, with a girth of six meters um, and in the park here um, I read that it was uh, the home of the Stanford family obtained by the local council in 1883 so in in um, Victorian times so there we are it's lovely to come at last to see the the Preston twins something I've been meaning to do for some time there are more trees to be um, looked at and explored in Preston Park, but we have run out of time on this one, sadly. What a shame. But, uh, impressed? Oh, absolutely. Aren't that they fantastic? It's just mm. so amazing to see, 400 years old. Yeah. I mean, this one's striking, but that one is lo really lovely. Yeah. Well, that's it for us today, um, but do join us again when we go out exploring again. We do more tree identification and that sort of thing. And I'll remember my, my, my gubbins. Yeah, remember your gubbins, and I'll try and remember some facts. But until next time, <laughs> do give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you know any more elm trees that need to be explored, do let us know. I'd like to get to nature with those before they all disappear. But in the meantime, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron and all the usual. Um, Julia and I will see you on another one. Till then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.